everyone! Today is the day I'm going to be doing my annual kitchen clean out. My kitchen, which you can't really see right now, is quite a disaster. Hubby and I went to Costco and picked up a whole bunch of stuff yesterday. We have food tucked into every little nook and cranny, and a lot of the drawers and cupboards need to be cleared out, reorganized, and they need a deep cleaning. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm hoping to get through all of the cupboards and drawers today because I was able to do that last year. I'm not going to do the fridge today. I will save that for another day. I'm just going to start off with giving you an overview of the kitchen. Here is my kitchen as it currently stands. It is 10.15 in the morning and we'll see how long this takes. It took less time than I expected last year, but um, I feel like we have more stuff to be put away this year. The kitchen seems quite a bit messier. I just have stuff all over the counters. Usually our counters are reasonably tidy with um, stuff put away. But we did a very big Costco haul yesterday, so everything is just everywhere right now. I also have a big bag of onions on the ground. I think the cupboards might be reasonably tidy, although these drawers will be a completely different story. <laughs> Above the fridge is always about the same reasonably tidy I just have to put the slow cooker back up here although I am gonna pull everything down and just give it um, a deep cleaning this set of cupboards looks essentially the same I just put the slow cooker back these cupboards here again should be rather easy to do I just want to reorganize some stuff and just make sure we don't have any um, expired vitamins and medications in here 
This cupboard is a lot more tidy and organized. All of the shelves are clean again. I had a little bit of a balsamic spill, so I had to scrub that down. This corner cupboard houses all of our tea and coffee, my hubby's protein powder, cacao, hot chocolate mix, and that sort of thing. This corner cupboard is also a lot more organized and it's very full, but I know where everything is and I'm happy with how it turned out. This is one of the cupboards I skipped. It's relatively organized and kept pretty clean. I decided just to leave everything as is and I didn't bother taking everything out. But maybe tomorrow or in January, I'll come back to this cupboard. We tend to be really lazy about folding our bags, so this stays tidy for maybe a few months or even half a year. But by the time the holidays roll around, it is pretty much always like this. So I'm gonna be pulling all of the bags out and refolding them. The cupboards above the microwave now close, so that is definitely a plus. I didn't touch this set of cupboards either. This would have been a lot of work to take all the glasses down, but I think I'll do these shelves when I'm ready to tackle the um, shelves with the plates. These drawers are a little bit of a disaster. We have so many utensils and things, so I'm just gonna be, again, pulling everything out and giving it a very thorough cleaning. This is all clean and organized. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This is one of our spice drawers, and I'm actually pretty happy with this one. I know exactly where everything is. I can see See all of the different spices and spice mixes that I have. The first spice drawer looks pretty much the same but I'm really happy with um, the way everything's laid out. This is our second spice drawer and this is very very disorganized so I'm gonna find uh, some way to organize everything in here and just tidy it up a bunch. I am very happy with the way this drawer turned out. I used to have little drawers for my spices but I found that they got a little bit grungy and I didn't always love um, removing the spices to wash them. I found that I preferred to leave the spices in whatever packaging they came in. I basically conmarried my spices so you can tell what everything is just by looking at it. I made sure the name of the spice was um, accessible. And then when the spices start to go stale, I can just toss the rest and pick up a new package. Really like this and it's a lot less work than um, when I used to keep all my spices in little jars. This drawer looks super messy, but it's actually not too, too bad. I will be taking everything out and giving it a good cleaning. This last drawer is, again, a lot more organized, although it still does look quite full. This is pretty much a black hole, although Hubby did put one of those sticky lights on the inside of the cupboard, so now I can find things a lot easier. But this is a very deep cupboard and things tend to get lost in here. So I'm gonna pull everything out, hopefully reorganize everything. This drawer had, I guess, the biggest improvement, although it is still very, very, very full. It is packed to the brim, but I was able to get all of the food that was on the counter basically into this set of cupboards so I am very happy about that. I didn't think it would all fit but lo and behold it did. I didn't get to this drawer underneath my oven but um, it's relatively organized and clean. This cupboard houses a bunch of our oils, our soy sauces. It also houses some of Lulu's things like her treats and her water bottle. We brush her teeth with coconut oil, so that is in there, and her peanut butter is also in here. Not many changes to this cupboard, but I did manage to put the peri-peri sauce in here. I didn't really organize Lulu's shelf, but um, again, it's pretty clean and organized already. Last but not least, this is going to be very quick because I didn't get to the set of cupboards, but um, I will again when I do the glasses and the dishes. I'm all done with the kitchen. Here is what it looks like. I actually didn't finish completely because I lost steam. It's looking a lot better, although we still have some things on the counter. That is going to be it for this video. Please let me know down below if you did any cleaning over the holiday season. I still have a few things I wanna get done in the condo. The work seems to never end, but it feels really good when you get a little project done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you very soon in another one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.